Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to FaZe's channel. Today, I'm going to teach you about mantle jumping. Mantle jumping is actually pretty easy. I'm going to break it down into four steps so you can learn it as quick as possible and tell you little things that help me along the way. So mantle jumping is actually not that hard. So I'm going to show you some tips that I learned along the way and the way I learned it. So first thing I did when I was trying to tackle mantle jumping I broke it up into four parts and I'm going to show you those parts in just a second. So step one, you want to know how to super jump. Super jump is interact, jump, jump really quickly. Once you got that down, you can go to the next step. The next step you want to learn is practice mantling. So when you're going up the zip, you want to practice jumping off the zip at the correct time to mantle on the edge. Once you got that down, you want to practice dismantling and looking down at the same time. You want to do this slowly at first and then start doing it a lot faster. Now it's to the final step, which is the super jump part. This part can be very difficult to learn because you have to do step one, two, and three before you get to the fourth part. But today I'm going to show you what helped me learn this last part, which is the hardest part. Um, you can practice at the top. Of the zip. So essentially what's happening here is you're doing a ghost interact after you dismantle. So when you look down you're able to see the interact even though your back is towards it. So that's why it's very important to look down after you dismantle because you're not going to get the interact. Or you can look up as well. The up version is a, has a bigger hitbox. As you can see, I can see it sooner than the down version. So it's a lot easier to do, but you can't do that in all zips if they have a roof on them. You wanna practice the last part, the super jump part at the top of the zip. This practice right here has really helped me improve my mantle jumps and get them more consistent. So essentially you wanna put your back towards the zip and right when you press left on your joystick or S on your, on your keyboard, you're going to press interact. So you want to do both at the same time and then super jump right after. If you do that correctly, you will get the super jump. As you can see here, I was messing it up because I was pressing interact so late. So you want to press them together at the same time. And then you put it all together and you get your mantle jump. Another tricky part when doing the mantle jump is when do you dismount? Like when you hold back to dismount and look down. So right when you go up the zip line, you want to jump off, right? And then when you're, cl when you're climbing up, that's when you want to flick to look down, have your view look down. And then when you can see the whole floor, you want to dismount. And then, like I said before, when you dismount, when you're pressing back to dismount, you're pressing interact at the same time and then doing your simple jump. So I'm going to show you a little bit of the slow motion to see the whole timing there. All right guys, well, go ahead and continue watching the video. Pause it if you need to. I'm gonna show you some slow motion mantle jumps at the end so you can just see a little bit of the timing there. But again, the most important part is pressing backwards or your left on your joystick at the same time as you're interacting getting the super, and then doing super jump immediately after is what extremely helped me. Um, don't forget to you have to look down or up, but remember the up version does not work um, on all buildings in Apex. They only work on zips that are out in the open. I hope you guys liked the video. Please like and subscribe. I'm going to be bringing out some more movement tech videos, especially on console, since that's what I play on. All right, I'll see you guys later. Peace.